Last week, Lexa uploaded this video, and basically what it's showing off is a hack which allows you to not fly off the pavement when you're on a hump. So for example, right here, it stays on the pavement no matter what, like heavy gravity. But unfortunately, the lap times that it got with it are not real because he only maintained an average speed of 109 miles per hour and a top speed of 168. And anyone who remotely understands the physics of this game knows that he couldn't have possibly got that time with such low speeds. He argued with me and said that I don't understand the physics of this game when I said the bluntly obvious that he hacked the timer. So the part with heavy gravity is real, but from what I can see, he just used that and then he hacked the timer so that it would tick slower and mixed it with a normal race. Then he used a video editor to speed up the video. But anyway, I'm going to show you a clip where it's going to show my very fast cars but I'm going to be racing here using the same trick he did but it's going to be an actual legitimate time and we can compare that with my original video on this where I got best three laps of one minute 11 seconds where I had these lap times about about 23 seconds each maybe the minimum that I was able to get as you can see here was a little bit under 22 seconds for my best lap. But now we will compare with this, which is basically another parameter that's not available in the car parameters. So these are files that are in the, as you can see here, they're in the param folder and they're dot script files. So you just would go in here, as I will explain in the video description of all of these videos. Now I updated the video descriptions to explain the process. But this is a parameter that's not in there, which is like heavy gravity so to speak. I just treat it as another parameter, but you'll see that at the end of the race, and even during the race, the other cars, because I kept their param script files as defaults, they're not really moving at all because the gravity is so heavy. I guess I'll show you where it is. First of all, you just go find, I, I renamed these to something else, but by default it's just going to be named td6 and then .exe, and that's what we're going to be modifying. Basically, whatever game version you have, if you have a hex editor like this one, I'll provide a download link for this hex editor in the video description. But just search for legals.zip, and then you will find that after this D looking character, that's the one that currently right now it's a Y, but by default it was 7. You just increase that however much you want. The more you increase it, the heavier the gravity is going to get. So I just increase it to the maximum, which is character FF. And for those who don't know what, what I mean by increasing in this case, it means it's by hex values. So th there's two columns here in this table. The column on the left is the number. It goes from 0 to 255. And the right column is the corresponding hex code that is assigned to that number. So it's starting at 0, 07. So if we want to increment by 3, it wouldn't be 10. It would actually be 0A, for example. And then we can see at the very end, as it goes, the last character that you can be for hex is 255, which is equivalent to FF. And in this hex editor that I'm showing, it's not case sensitive. It's going to make it lowercase no matter what. So that's why I have capital FF here, but in the hex editor, you can see that it shows lowercase FF. The halfway point, since it's 255 characters, would be about 80, which is 128. Just in case for those who are wondering if they want to just experiment with it. Yeah, 80 is the hex code that you would put in place of 07 if you want to see what it behaves like with half the intensity. Then you can go into the car parameters and adjust the other parameters once that one is set. You would have to increase the torque as a starter so that the car can actually move. The car can overcome the such heavy gravity. Alright, so that's really all I have to say. That You can see that what I'm about to show you is legitimate because... You see the car crashing into walls, you see the high speeds, you see the acceleration, you see the track flickering, and all the weird oddities of going very fast in this game.
Yeah, look at all the other cars. Average speed, one mile per hour. And of course you notice that I muted all the sounds with hitting walls. I did that before I raced. This is to save you a headache. I should probably do that from now on with these videos.